to this video tutorial on web design in which we will create a web page with the program Blue Griffin. To start with, prepare a working space for your website. To do so, create a folder with the name Blue Griffin 1 Your Name. Mine is Blue Griffin 1 Oscar. Inside that folder, create a subfolder called Images. Now, open Blue Griffin. You can use the Programs Finder. As you can see, I have it already open. To create a new web page, click on File, New. Now, save it. Click on File, Save. Firstly, you are asked to enter a page title. That is the name of the Blue Griffin tab. Enter Home Page and click OK. Then, you are asked to select your working folder and enter a file name. Type in index.html. Finally, click on Save. Now, click on Panels, Style Properties to display the Style Properties panel on the right side of the page. You can resize this panel by clicking and dragging here. Now, you are going to set a background color for your web page. Down here, click on Body. Then go to the Style Properties panel and in Apply Styles to select all elements of the same type. Click on Colors, Background, and select a light color you like. I will choose light green. Save it by clicking on File, Save. Search the internet for an English text, poetry, poem, or novel from a well-known writer. For example, for example, Edgar Allan Poe, and select Control Copy on your keyboard. You want the poem to be between 10 and 20 lines. First of all, write the title of the text. Insert the text below by clicking on Edit, Paste, without formatting. Select all the text and go to the Style Properties panel and click General, Font Family, plus Sign, and select Ariel. Select the title on the left side toolbar, set bold and underline. Now, select the text and click here to set foreground color to a dark color. I will choose dark blue. Add below the text the author's name in red and italic. Save it by clicking on File, Save. Next, find a portrait of the author. Download it and save it to the subfolder images you created at the beginning of this practice. Insert the portrait below the author's name. To do so, click Insert Image. For image location, find the subfolder images. Check the checkbox Make URL Relative to Page Location. This is vital to get a web page that works on a pen drive or on another computer. In title, type in the author's name. In alternate text, type in author's portrait and click OK. With the mouse, resize the picture by clicking and dragging a corner. You can also resize the picture by clicking on Geometry on the Style Properties panel. Make sure that this checkbox is checked. Save it and open it with the browser to see what it looks like. Perfect. Now, click outside the picture to deselect it and insert a couple of blank lines. Hit the Enter or Return key. You are going to insert a horizontal line. 
Click Insert Horizontal Bar. The only thing that you are changing is the color to black. Then click OK. Save it. Below the horizontal line, type Author's Biography in capital letters and center it. Find the author's biography, select it, control C, and insert it below the title by clicking on edit, paste, without formatting. Now, underline the title. Save it and open it with the browser to check it. Perfect. At the end of the biography, inter insert a blank line. Type click here to know more. Insert a link to the biography website in the word here. Select the word here, click insert, link, for target copy and paste the web address. In title, type in biography. Click OK. Save it and open it with the browser to check that the link works properly. As you can see, it works. Finally, you will add an internal link or anchor, which helps us to navigate the page. Firstly, place the cursor at the beginning of the page and click Insert, Anchor, and type in Anchor 1. Secondly, at the end of the page, insert a blank line and type Go Up, Aligned Right. Select Go Up and click Insert, Link. In target, type in pound sign or hashtag anchor one. In title, type in go up and click OK. Save it and open it with the browser to check that the anchor works properly. Perfect. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.